Allow me to Oliver Stone, JFK conspiracy you right here, Vlad, and tell oh me if I'm a crazy person or maybe, just maybe, I'm onto something. Let's hear it. Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay. Good season. Advance right. to the second round of the playoffs. I already know where you're going with this. RJ Bickerstaff gets fired. Is it JB? Uh, is, is it RJ? No, JB. it's JB. JB Bickerstaff gets fired. Kind of an odd firing. Not really, but go ahead. Thought he did a good job. Got you to the second round of the playoffs. Mm, well, they Donovan they, Mitchell goes down. You lose to the Celtics. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Gets fired. Mm -hmm. Now some people are going to say, they're trying to do anything it takes to keep Donovan Mitchell in Cleveland. I do understand that. I do That's if JB and Donovan didn't get along. Well, they're probably going to go to Donovan Mitchell and say, who would you like to coach? That's the lo logical thing. And if Donovan Mitchell would have spoke up, they would have probably kept JB. Now, that's the logical thing. Mm -hmm. Let's go a little more down the rabbit hole. With the 20th pick in the 2024 NBA draft, the oh, Cleveland Cavaliers select Bronny James. Bronny James. Oh, wait a second. And then all of a sudden, the pieces start falling into place. But then they get a coach that LeBron James wants. They have LeBron James' son. They have Donovan Mitchell. Hmm. I mean, the 20th pick, that's worth taking a flyer. On a team where LeBron James began his career, won a championship with, maybe wants to end his career. Vlad, I might be crazy. And I might be crazy for this, but I don't think it's impossible that that's happening. I mean, that could go for any team that drafts it. But it's more logical with Cleveland, where well, he started and possibly wants well, to end his career, where they can have him and his son together. It's a dream And scenario. he's also said he would like his son to go with a team that will develop him, that will give him the grit, that will give him, there's a team down here. Okay, then. So then we can say that for but any they're team. they're already a playoff team. They've already advanced in the playoffs. They've got Donovan Mitchell. They can have LeBron James. They can get the coach that LeBron wants because we know that's one of the contingencies of LeBron going anywhere. Yeah, but that's also if Dan Gilbert wants to be put again for a third time under the LeBron regime. I'm just saying. They're saying, look here, look here, but maybe they got a little over here, you know. I'm saying there's a possibility that, although it sounds crazy, is it – Totally it's not crazy. Impossible. It's not crazy. I, I don't. Think I would take a flyer from Cleveland on LeBron I, James. I don't think you're 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 wild for uh, for coming up with that. But I also, and I'm not. Yeah, I'm not saying that you're wild. For, you know, you're crazy for saying that. It's impossible. It's not crazy. It's possible. But I also think it's possible for down here as well. You know what? He don't. He knows how to heat develop players. He develop. They develop undrafted players that become you know, well-rounded players that get other roles and that get roles in other teams like Max Struess, Gabe Vincent, Kendrick Nunn. The thing is, I don't Ollie, think Caleb Martin. I just think well, he Cleveland's was drafted, more likely to draft Ronnie James or take a chance on him than Miami. You can at, at 20 is 20. Is 20 going to make that big of a difference? Could 20. I, I don't know if he's a first round draft choice. I mean, what does it matter? It, what, it does matter, bro. Because at least if you're drafting him, you're also drafting him for the future. Your first round pick's going to be there for the next at least three to five years. Donovan Mitchell, here's what we're going to do. We're not going to let you pick the coach. What? What we're going to do is we're going to draft Bronny James. LeBron James is going to come here. He's going to pick the coach. And He's going to play with you. Does and Donovan, you guys are going to try to win Does a he want to be second fiddle to that? It's LeBron James. Yeah. It doesn't know. It's LeBron James. But LeBron James doesn't play that game anymore. He's a, he's more of a, he's, he's more of a player slash scorer slash facilitator. He's not a you know, black hole. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm You're not about. crazy. It's not wild, but I'm I'm not I'm not saying there's a no, it's not far fetched. Or do you want to go into the second round? I mean maybe in the second round or where Miami's forty third. Yeah, you can definitely take a flyer on forty third. At forty three I think you But would I mean take Miami does the best job of developing players. So that's what I'm saying. So maybe wait, wait does Cleveland even have a second round pick? That this makes it even juicier. I don't think Cleveland has a second round pick. Cleveland's only got one draft pick at number 20 next year. So they're all in or all out. Woo! Vladdy, I think we're onto something. I'm marking the tape. Mark the tape. 
we okay. said it first. Maybe we didn't say it first, but, but from what I know, we're the first people to talk about this. I'm telling you, if at, I don't think we're the first person to talk about this. National media has. I'm not. I'm not stealing this from anybody. This no, no, you're talking. not stealing it. But we've all talked. I mean, this is something we've mentioned before as well. But we're not the Cleveland scenario. I think we had mentioned the Cleveland scenario because of the fact that yeah, there's a but lot of the firing of Bickerstaff. Well, not well. Okay, with the firing and not on this day. <laughs> and not on this. <laughs> You're wild. <laughs> let, let me just do this, Vlad. What is the what is the Cleveland fan base reaction when this happens? Just, just blurt it out. With the twenty, they love pick, it. it. Okay, yeah, they love it. If I'm a Cleveland fan, I love it. I want it. You don't think they want five hundred million dollars back in their in in their city? The best time they've ever had. It was the most there's two memorable things about the Cleveland Cavaliers, and they both involve two of the best players of all time. Number one, LeBron James winning a championship. Number two, Michael Jordan making that shot over Craig Elo. That's what the Cavs are remembered for. No, <laughs> sorry, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, Brad Doherty, big time. No, but what I'm saying is, why wouldn't they want it? It would be it'd be a perfect script, you know. Started, started, play for his hometown team. Won a championship. Left, or something, left, home, came back, son. prodigal son returned, won the title, brought the title to them, left on good terms, and now his son, his prodigal son, is coming back and he returns. It's like, you know, it's like Mufasa and, uh, and Simba coming. Yeah, he returns together. to end his career yeah, with his a son. Beautiful story. And maybe wins a championship with Donovan Mitchell. Put it on Apple Plus. Man, the NBA would, oh my, I mean, that's a Netflix. movie. That's a movie. Netflix, holla at, you, holla at your boys. I'm writing it right now. I might, Amazon. Even if it doesn't happen, I might make the movie anyway. Searchlight, whatever, all of them. Pixar, we're all making, of them. Copyright, we're copywriting this one. Holla at your boy. I don't, I don't know. If uh, yeah, it would be great, but there's un, there's one. There's only one problem with that. There's a lot of problems. Go ahead. You can make $66 million with the Lakers. I know. But he's already got enough money, and he's got his future set up. And it's about his son. It's about going home. Come on, LeBron, don't take the don't take the bag. Take the boy. He already made the boy. Okay, I got that. But I, mean, uh, I just think I just think it's not crazy. I just think it's interesting. I don't think it's crazy. I want it to happen. To be honest with you, I'll be honest with you. I love the Pelicans and I love the Heat. If that happens, kind of gotta like the Cleveland Cavaliers in that situation. And if you don't. I know Heat Nation would be like, oh, no, I never could cheer. I was like, man, if you don't like that story, you just don't like stories.